Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I've been sitting at the sewing machine and coming up with little projects, trying to fill my days because I can't get out really. I do take a, a walk and I can walk to a little convenience store. I've been making some masks. I think I made about, oh, probably about 15 in the last couple of days. I must say, um, if you have worn a mask much, the the, not easy to walk in in a way because your eyes at least mine anyway sort of are, uh, my vision's obscured a little bit by the top of the mask and when I walk I always look down somewhat because it's quite rough the sidewalk so I want to make sure that um, you know I'm not going to trip over something and so I'm having a little trouble maybe with the mask mask <laughs> I'm sure I'll get used to it. Anyway, one of the things I made this morning was I wanted to jazz up my lanai because I'm sitting out there a lot since I can't really go anywhere else. And I had this French-inspired fabric, and so I thought I had just enough to make a, make a garland or a banner or a kind of a bunting. And so um, I thought I'd show you how I did it. I can't hang it up and show you right now, but very easy, very easy my way. So the way I started it was I cut um, these um, 8 inches by 6 inches at the top and then just drew it to a point. Then I surged down the side of each of these shapes and... Um, I don't know if you can see any better on that one. But anyway, just surge down the, the sides. And then when that was done, I pressed them because the serger does tend to sometimes, you know, pucker them up a bit. Then I decided how I wanted to hang it. And I don't want them to slip along. So I thought the best way for me to do it was to stitch it so that it doesn't slip. And so this is what I came up with. I just folded over the back and I put this twine, this really nice thick twine, inside the fold and then I just stitched it on the sewing machine. I made sure the spaces between were the same and they were all about 8 inches. I measured one from the other. There are six, I call them flags, six flags or pennants. So there you go. And then I thought they need a little bit of flutter because they'll be hanging on my lanai where it does get you know, kind of windy. And I therefore I tied a piece of seam binding, slightly crinkled, between each of the flags. And then I had some French wooden buttons. The I think they, they mimic some of the French, you know, the um, fabrics that you can get. Not 12, but the other kinds, the ones that were inspired by India. And so these are the buttons, and I put a different one, and I did hand sew those on, and that sort of helps keep them weighted, I think, because, as I said, it's going to be blowing. So anyhow, that's my bunting, and I thought that I'd show it to you, and just a, a really a time waster in some ways, but it, it turned out nice, and I think it's going to jazz up my lanai quite a bit. So I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.